Have you ever dealt with a sewer backup? That can be really nasty. Super expensive to fix, probably starting around $5,000, but easily working its way up into the $15,000 to $20,000 range or even above. This is not something that you wanna deal with the first year after purchasing your new home. This is really something you never want to deal with, right? <laughs> but what if you're in the city and you're just buying a little tiny house on a little tiny lot that was only built two years ago and so the sewer should be working perfectly fine, right? It's the sewer. Doesn't the city take care of those things? They do, but how will the city know if there's a problem with the sewer coming from your house to the sewer if you don't inspect it? They're not magicians. They can't magically know these problems. So when you're purchasing a house, even with city sewer, it's wise to do a sewer scope because again, you're not going to know and your agent can't know. And honestly, the home inspector doesn't know entirely unless you do a sewer scope. That's where a plumber will come or another inspector will come and they will put a camera actually down the sewer line and they'll look around the sewer line with the camera just to make sure that there's no obstacles, there's no roots. That's what we see all the time is that roots have intruded into the sewer system. Roots love to be in the sewer lines. <laughs> what a great place to drink water and grow a healthy tree, right? But it's not good for your sewer. So the sewer scope will look for holes, roots, cracks, or separated pipes. And this is so important for you to do, to protect yourself, to just know that the home that you're purchasing is in a good working order. Because again, even if it's a brand new home and you feel like the septic should be working perfectly fine, if a sewer scope has not been done, there's a chance that the pipes came across and roots are now intruding into the system. And while the water may still be flowing freely to the sewer now, if this problem isn't fixed over time as that tree becomes more established and the roots get bigger and bigger, it could block the system and it could create tremendous problems for the future, which again could cost 5,000 or even upwards of $20,000 to fix depending on the problem. And I'm not throwing around these big numbers to scare you, just to let you know, really? it's worth it to have an inspection. If you have any questions about this or other things that you need to know when purchasing or selling a house, I'd be happy to help. I'm Anastasia Hendrick with Century 21, JC Jones, American Dream. You can call me at the office at 541-476-6502. And really, if you're needing a realtor to help you, I'm so happy to help. Just call me on my cell phone, it's 541 two two six six four four eight and i'll be so happy to help